And the horses are on the track for the ninth race. The $40,000 review stakes presented by Castleton Farm for two-year-old pacing fillies. Win, place, show, and exact wagering. There are no scratches. There are no driver changes. All of the drivers will be as originally programmed. Again, don't forget the two and the five race uncoupled. Also the six and the seven race uncoupled. A common trainer in each case, but bona fide separate ownership. And now let's meet the starters. Number one, Forever For Now, owned by Kenneth Rucker and Jana Lee Olson of Durand, Wisconsin. Dirk Simpson, the trainer. Laverne Hostetler is the driver. Number two is Southwind Silver, owned by White Birch Farm and Penske Stables of New Jersey and Minnesota. Brian Penske, the trainer. John Campbell is up. Number three is Armbro Temptation, owned by B.L. Conway of Abingdon, Virginia. Roger Culifer, the trainer driver. Number four, Movie Magic, is owned by Kolchowski, by Zilli, Bootenshane, and Sandra Zilli, trained by John Bootenshane. The driver is Andy Miller. Number five is Cold Call, owned by R&D Samson Stables, owned also by Brian Penske, trained and driven by Mr. Penske. Number six, No Laughing Matter, is owned by Doug McIntosh and Michael Dockendorf, trained by Doug McIntosh. He will call on Dave McGee to drive. And number seven is Look Over There, owned by Robert Rosenheim Stables Limited of Sharon, Connecticut, trained by Doug McIntosh. The driver is Mike Lachance. The track is fast. The review stakes presented by Castleton Farm coming up in five minutes. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Cold Call goes out for the early lead. Armbro Temptation gets away second. Look over there is third up on the far outside, then Southwind Silver, and No Laughing Matter, who comes away in fourth, heading into the first turn. There goes Cold Call, moving up to get the lead by just over a length. And now, No Laughing Matter is moving forward into second on the outside. In fact, No Laughing Matter takes the lead. Look over there is also moving up on the outside around Cold Call, who is now third. Armbro Temptation shuffled fourth on the rail, 27-4 and four for the opening quarter. And now, Look over there moves up after three-eighths of a mile to get the lead by a length. No Laughing Matter, second by two. Cold Call, third by two. Armbro Temptation is fourth, Southwind Silver is fifth, and then Movie Magic racing in the sixth position, and Forever For Now is last. They're at the half mile mark, they're all chasing Look Over There, the half in 56 and 1, and she leads the Castleton Review by a length and a half. No laughing matter, still covered up in second, past the draw gate, and then Cold Call is third at the entry to the far turn. Armbro Temptation fourth, they're all single file. Southwind Silver is fifth, still six lengths off the leader. Then Forever For Now, who moves up a spot around Movie Magic, and they're at the three-quarter, and Cold Call gets shuffled another spot because Armbro Temptation is on the charge on the outside into second, and up to challenge, look over there for the lead. 126 and two at the three-quarter. It is Armbro Temptation putting ahead in front. Look over there is still there, but second, no laughing matter, is third two lengths away, and Armbro Temptation strides forward for the lead. Armbro Temptation by two, no laughing matter, is coming on the outside, no laughing matter gobbling up ground armbro temptation here's the line photo finish photo for the win it will either be armbro temptation or no laughing matter we do know that south wind silver was third in 154 and three photo about to be posted the photo sign comes down Number six, No Laughing Matter is the winner. Number six, No Laughing Matter gets up. Number three, Armbro Temptation second. The two, Southwind Silver third. Number seven, Look Over There was fourth. The result unofficial. In the winner's circle, ladies and gentlemen, owned by Doug McIntosh and Michael Dockendorf, trained by Doug McIntosh, Dave McGee with the winning drive. No laughing matter. It's official. Jim Sproul, the marketing director for Castleton Farm, will present the Castleton Trophy in the winner's circle. Castleton has been a longtime corporate sponsor of the Review Stakes. 
the famed Standard Bread Nursery in Lexington, Kentucky, which once again this year will be offering its usually strong consignment of yearlings at Tattersall's coming up in just a few weeks. And as Jim Sproul presents that trophy, we should also mention that John Cisna of the review board is presenting the caretaker's medallion to Reginald Glason. We'll try to get a word with uh, the winning connections here in just a moment. It is official, the result, 6-3 on the exact of $27.60, $27.60.